Hey everyone, how is it going? Today I'm going to bag up the Anonas, the sugar apples, all of them that didn't get any horse yet. I'm going to bag, bag them up because I'm gonna show you what I'm dealing with. Check it out. The Anona seed burst, you see how it gets a hole in it and it destroys the fruit basically. So every fruit that it gets a hole in it, I will have to destroy in a way that I have to put it in bags. It's a in a couple of bags, put it on the sun and compost it on the sun for a good couple of weeks. So making sure that you look at that beautiful, absolutely gorgeous sugar apple, but it's destroyed by the unknown seed worm. I hand pollinated each of these so we would have a ton of fruit and we are having a lot of fruit but those sons of a you know what they destroying many 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 fruits look at that look the big apple and it's destroyed so I'm gonna have to compost all of that all of them that it's not in yet the seed borer we'll have to bag for example this red one looks like they don't prefer as much the red one as the other one but i also saw them in the red already that's that's what's up right now pain in the rear end like i said i do it everything organically unfortunately you know good and bad uh, doing very well in the garden and, so the only way for me if i keep want to do organically is i have to be ahead of uh, bagging it up bag up the fruits or um looks like these are the consequences <laughs> no fun consequences get the amount of fruits there is on the on the tree and they pretty much try to destroy all of it all of it <laughs> Let's see. And this one is ready. I want that to show you. This one is ready and I'm gonna try it on camera. I'm gonna have seeds by the way available. Of course I only um ripening up the ones that are without any holes or anything, so I don't want to multiply the burrs. it's a beautiful this was the first sugar apple this was the first sugar apple i took off the tree you can see it's a gorgeous one and that's how it's supposed to look like when there is no seed borer in them mm, it's delicious mm. I will have these are all organically grown if you guys want some seeds you can message me on live in florida area or gmail.com and i'm sure i'm gonna put some on etsy as well are you going to use any fertilizer any chemical fertilizer other or synthetic fertilizer other than using a moringa chop and drop mexican sunflower chop and drop and that's pretty much it and a lot of mulch it's very good it's very very good all right i'm up for working putting some of those organza bags oh i wish if i would have known that the anona silver is going to be this bad this year well, now i know next year and if you grow a known as you know hopefully you can uh, also reduce the damage by bagging it up <laughs> i ordered this from amazon by the way these are all the bad ones with holes so i have to compost this one this is what i had um organza bags for so far and uh, i ordered a lot more gonza bags actually i put a lot of money and i probably i ordered 40 plus dollars worth of organza bags so i can protect them 
it's a it's a pain in the rear end but if they are already this big and nice then might as well save them I think if the extra organza bag is gonna arrive, I will double bag some of these fruits. So I will, I will probably do that because I'm gonna certainly I ordered enough to have extras. Meantime, I wanted to show you the avocado. This is the Simmons variety. It's an early variety. I'm going to pick one today to see how fast it's gonna ripen up. A yam is growing up on the tree, and that yam is growing for. Oh, two or three years. So I'm pretty sure it's a huge yam <laughs> next to the avocado tree. The Rolinias are doing really good. I don't know if the seed burr likes this one very much or not, but we will see soon enough. The tree is too tall to bag, bag it easy. I would have to have a ladder and I would have to be a more graceful person <laughs> to do it. Thank you for watching and I wish if I wouldn't have to share this type of news but I feel like if you want to grow sugar apples or probably maybe you're already growing sugar apples if you have a chance try to bag it up because otherwise you can get into the same same situation as I am right now. It's still not too late for me I feel like still plenty to share and even probably possibly to sell but i wanted to tell you about this so you're aware thanks for watching see you guys bye